Hey guys, it's me, Agent Saber here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be doing a sort of different video, and I'm going to be doing a talking to you guys sort of video. There'll be some gameplay on in the background that relates to the kind of video I'm doing, but that's basically it. So, I'm going to be covering today, what we've got today is um, sort of a topic that probably won't be brought up by other YouTubers as much, mainly because it's sort of a sensitive topic and how much kind of backlash that you'll get, but... It's mainly for expressing your own opinions on the internet, which can get a little a little spicy, but that's just how the internet is. Anyway, while well, some might agree, some might disagree, so if you disagree with me, that's or agree with me, that's absolutely fine. You're entitled to your own opinion, and I've got to respect that as a person. And with that out of the way, let's get right into this. So the person I'll be talking about today is a person on the Xbox One Edition community known as Gorm King. Now... Go before I like like do anything or say anything about this guy, please don't go after him, don't search his name up and attack him because he's done nothing wrong, he's done nothing to deserve this backlash, he's a great guy, I know him, and honestly he's just an incredible guy, don't attack this person um, just so I don't get physically owned. Um, so with that out of the way, let's get straight into this. Now... Gorm is a person that hosts on the Minecraft Xbox One Edition community, which is the same game that I used to host my game shows on as well. And I host game shows on my Twitch channel as well. There'll be a link in the description on my Twitch channel if you want to look at it. I host a game show mainly being known as Minecraft Xbox Championships MXC for short, uh, which is a take on Nux Crew's Minecraft Championships. And being the first person to bring this kind of game show to Xbox One Edition, a few people assume that this game show is mine. It's not. It belongs to Nox Crew. You should definitely support them. They are a bunch of incredible creators, and you definitely should support their things. Um, regardless, Gong doesn't, let's say, necessarily have the massivest amount of respect within the community when it comes to originality of game shows. Most of them are taken from other people's popularity, and usually in this kind of community, that's not really a big issue as it seems on the sub-level surface. But the problem is, it wouldn't be an issue if the games were as decently designed as their original prototypes, or as hosted as well, but fortunately for Gorm King, that's not really the case. And this really suits as a, uh, a burning reminder to Gorm King as sort of like a, a bit of feedback, I guess for how to improve his game shows, or how to improve any of your game shows if you're thinking of making something similar. I have personally no, seen as it's not my game show, no sort of, uh, no sort of interest if you copy the game. It's not I, my game show. Completely do it if you want to. I do not care. Regardless, um, to understand the issues that we have with gone game shows and what we need to, what he needs to do, in order to patch these kind of things, we need to dive deeper into the game show itself, so let's go ahead and do that. On the basis of the games and how they truly work, it works similar to how my MXC works. You'll play eight games out of a certain pool of games that the host sets up, and you'll be able to vote in which games you want to compete in, and depending on how you do, you will earn points as you continue, and if you're within the top two point scorers, you compete in a final game to decide who the winner is. And obviously, the games are as important as the game show itself, as those determine who the winner is, obviously. So, let's take a look at Gorm's games themselves. Unfortunately, as I'm writing the script, Gorm apparently deleted the world. But I do have a VOD that I used, that you can look at my Twitch channel for, that I have, so I can use to look at the games that we played. And with that being said, let's get right into looking at these games. Game 1. Platform Sumo. In this game, there is a you are on a platform suspended above lava. Your aim is to knock your opponent into the lava below to survive as long as you can. The more people that die before you, the more points you will earn. Uh, I don't have any main issues with this competition apart from the fact that the platform's a bit uneven, which is a bit nitpicky, and also the floor looks a bit mesmerizing to look at and a bit out of place. But other than that, this game isn't really that bad. There is nothing wrong with this specific game. but And there's no major design flaws like there are in other certain games. Game 2. Lily Leaping. Lily Leaping is another fairly simple competition. Uh, you have to try and cross a river using uh, platforms which are lily pads. 
and falling in the water will obviously slow you down. The last person to make it to the finish gets eliminated and the game continues until there's only one person left alive. Once again, this comp's really easy to make and continues the illusion of some sort that the game show is sort of rushed. The walls are a plain white, it looks really boring and plain. The comp more belongs in a game show things like The Challenge or Survivor, maybe Big Brother. And the comp overall is sort of boring, but in a freak, it frequently appears in his other game shows, so it's sort of sort of like not traditional to not have it in his game. So fair play to him. Game three, line locked. Now line locked actually does have a different name in Gorm's MXC, but I'm not going to go into that because I have a family friendly audience. So this game is probably the only decent non-physical game that came from actually my MXC, and it's named line locked. In this game, you're on a black platform and you have to use strategy to move to adjacent blocks and block off your opponents from moving to stay alive. When you run out of spaces to move to, you become line locked and are then eliminated from that specific game. And the game actually has a decent visuals in terms of Gorms and looks good. But other than that, it's just the only certain bad thing about it is that it's just unoriginal. Uh, it's not really a bad comp, and also it requires a lot of skill and wits about you to stay alive. Not a bad competition, very well done by Gorm King for this one. Game 4, Ice Boat Race. Similarly to basically a lot of other things on this list, uh, this comp's sort of boring and unimaginative. The visuals, I have to agree, look very nice with an icy tundra theme to it, and of course the course itself uh, most of the corners are quite tight and the overall course is very short and it's hard to get decent time despite playing at your very very best and even if you do get a decent time you'll often tie with someone else mainly because the map isn't really long or decisive enough. Overall it's a pretty meh competition similarly to line locked. Um, if all the other competitions were as good as this one I'd probably be picking this one a lot more than it probably would be picked as it is now but other than that no real major design flaws other than the fact that the course is really small. Game 5. Parkour Gauntlet Like Line Locked, this competition is a take on my MXC's Parkour Warriors and also a take on the Nox Crew's MXC Parkour Warriors, where your aim is to complete as many courses as you can within a 10 minute time frame. Now, in Gorm's case, this competition is where things start to decline in terms of quality. This game has a lot of problems. And as a person who does have Parker Warriors in their world, I understand that it is a very, very difficult game to update and maintain. The game requires a lot of balance changes, constant updates and patches to make sure that the game is nice and refreshing to replay over and over again, and that provides a different challenge for the players every single time they play it. But the thing is with Gorm King, if you manage to test it and complete it in 50 minutes yourself, but expect the other people to complete it in 10 minutes, that's just... Mm, wow. <laughs> that is... I don't even know what to say for that one. But in terms of everything else, the mechanics are fine, the course and the visuals look fine, but that's mainly because they're inspired from mine. Not really the worst comp that I can think of, but not really the best. It's in the middle. Game 6, Skyward Battle. I think that Skyward Battle is probably one of the most broken game modes, but somehow actually has a lot of room to grow and actually become a decent one. The starting loot, when you look at it, is very overpowered when you look at the rest of the loot. You spawn with an iron chest plate, a iron sword, and also you spawn with two stacks of wool, so that kind of enforces a campy sort of game, and the game gets boring really, really fast. With no borders and no height limit, that can get really stretched. Uh, there is a diamond sword at the top of the map, and also a notch apple, which is one of the most broken items you can potentially have. What is this? Uh, it basically means you can't lose, because even if you do fall off the map into the lava, the, if you eat the notch apple... It gives you fire resistance, which makes you immune to lava. I, The only thing, the thing that's really bad about this game is that the islands are very, very close to each other. And that you almost have no chance to knock anyone off with any sort of hit. Therefore rendering most of the melees or bows completely useless. 
in certain terms, but it's really not. Probably one of the worst games he's got going on, but also probably one of the easiest to patch if he tried to. Game 7, Find Your Way. Once again, this is another competition from my MXC. It's inspired by the competition Bridge 3 Far. It requires you cross beams across a massive lava pit or fall for you to stay in the game. If you fall off the beams, you're eliminated with the course getting harder as you try to complete more laps around the course. This is one of the easiest games to host and create, and with mainly just simple precise mathematics in order to make it, Though somehow Gorm has managed to do this, he's managed to make the colours ugly, the arena small, I bet. I actually don't think there's any spectating arena. Um, there's a one there's a one block jump when everything is supposed to start as a two block jump. Why? Please tell me why this exists. It is very stupid and I genuinely don't know. Yeah, it's crazily easy to patch. Please just fix this. Overall, I think the game needs a lot, a lot, a lot of work, even though Gorm King himself said he deleted it. There's no technical data proof of that, and if he hasn't deleted it, and Gorm, if you're watching this, keep patching it. It's nowhere near completely broken, but also completely patchable. If you want to keep a good player base, I recommend that he should start focusing on quality of games rather than the quantity of games. You should definitely care about more about the player's opinions as well rather than the game itself. Most of the games don't really feel like an MXC style competition and that should be considered in the future with things like Hot Fetus and other competitions like Boiling Point and Lily Leaping. Other than that, just because Gorm makes one bad game show doesn't mean he all of his other game shows are bad. It doesn't mean he's a bad host. He deserves a lot of chances at these things. Don't send hate to him. He's an honest guy and he hasn't done anything to harm anyone. The game show itself isn't necessarily bad, as I've said before. Just a few patches here and there and you'll have a, he'll have a decent game in pretty much no time flat. And that's pretty much all I've got for this video. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video where I'll be talking about something a little bit different. See you then. Later.